Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Hey, this is Mike the Lieutenant Akir at your service, and hello, Pizza! <laughs> yeah, hello, Pizza. How are you doing today? And welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker, our 13th stream of this, which, well, we'll be dealing with our first big ghost ship, so. <laughs> I guess that's fitting. <laughs> yeah. And to also, please ask the question I'm doing fine. Uh, yeah, doing um, pretty good. Also, is is it a bit fitting that I that we're playing this on the same day that I'd, I went to a a job interview for well a, a new thing. Oh, <laughs> let's God, hope the, let's true. hope this game is a lot worse than that job if I get it. Yeah. Uh, also, let's see. happy birthday, pizza. That's okay. Yeah, happy birthday, pizza. <laughs> I hope you'll you know, get more than just pizza for your birthday. Uh, yeah, let's see. Nothing new here. And yeah, we should be good to head to get to hit the next level once we finish with this game. Now, not this game, this ship. Let's see. How's the equipment? Still doing pretty good. I'll probably just upgrade stuff or repair stuff once it hits 60%. Though I don't. Personally, I don't think I've seen too many malfunctions. Like, your, with the thrusters, your speed will get capped and such, but it's not like thing, things will actively... Oop. This here's another one of them ghost ships. Same story as last time. It looks like the boss has been running the show. I'll be honest with you. They kind of give me the creeps. You trade lightly, Cutter. Weave her out. Uh, now I lost my train of thought due to Weaver. Unavailable? Wait, this... Okay, I know that at the end of last time we got started on this thing, but mostly just scouted around. Hmm. How is that unavailable? The entire shell is intact. Most of what we took off were those sent... Those, so... The solar batteries or such. And I see something else we can pluck off. Uh, but yeah, completely lost my train of thought due to Weaver. Yeah. Uh, oh. Wait, Pizza, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Why not both? It's, it's, uh, I can't eat pizza, my blood sugar. No, for my birthday, I'll either be getting a new game or KFC. It's a win win either way. <laughs> Why not okay. get KFC while? Play the new game. <laughs> yeah, because crazy fingers don't agree with uh, controllers typically or keyboards. Is there really no other way in? Oh, there's there's well, a little bit pressurized still over there. Okay, in that way, I would say uh, new game definitely. For that game, will be eternal. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, not probably not eternal. It will It'll last, last longer. longer. <laughs> I. I think we, I think we went stereo there by both saying it at the same time. What? I just told him before we started that we all almost creepily in sync at times. <laughs> Anyways, let's give another look. Yep, it, the air, the airlock console is just plain not functional, so we'll just actually have to cut our way inside for the first time, and we well, might as well do it. Why not cut the door? Uh, because that might damage, that's likely to damage the airlock, which, well, is worth quite a bit. Alright, how about this? You open the front window. That could work as well. That, actually, no, that, that would work uh, on the smaller ships, but I don't think we'd fit through <laughs> that. Uh, if you squeeze you in, perhaps? <laughs> okay. Luckily, this needs to be removed anyways. Okay, there. Just don't need a millimeters cut, just a decent one. I just pray don't... you don't end up blowing something up inside there. Okay. Yeah, that's still being held by... Yep, the struts behind it. So, let's see there 
It is refreshing to have to go through this you know, to get inside this way for once. There we go. Nice of it to just pop off on its own. Anything on it? Nope. All oh, right, I I have thought I. I think I might change chat back to not hide uh, the messages after a certain time. Because sometimes yeah. we're busy, so we can't really react whilst it's still on there. I, st I still have the chat up in this chat window on the right to, uh, to me. But yeah, for you, it would disappear. Yeah, and I, I actually thought it was weird that you changed it back uh, to this uh, this one for... Yeah, I didn't see the point of it really, but I didn't feel like to qu actually no. I think I was too questioned, but I got distracted. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'll probably change that back eventually. Uh, not sure if I can. No, I I probably can do it whilst doing this, but let's just focus on the game instead for the most. Okay. Try and go for the big cuts. Not cutting that. We're not cutting the coolant system. Okay. Yeah, that's a big thermal spreader. There's another one. Okay. Hmm. Where is the entrance? Also, a little pause in the game. Low fuel. Wait. Okay, I... Th Is there still fuel in this thing? Yeah, it sounds like there's something in there, but I can't activate the flush. Huh. That's going to be a problem. Because that means that the reactor is going to be a lot easier to blow. And, well, the moment that I try to cut any of the fuel lines, they're going to blow. Okay, that that is definitely going to be a problem. It's a damn uh, AI thing, ain't it? Probably. Could be that they're messing with the control systems. I, I thought before they could only really just randomly activate things. But if they have active control over the ship systems, that is going to be an issue for us. Yeah, it was a bit of a challenge, but one that you need to be very careful of. Yeah. I'm going to presume that if we get rid of all of the AI cores, or at least enough of them, that we'll be able to reclaim control. Yeah. It, but it we'll have to find the... out. Because just be they are broken, but yeah. both the fuel ones and the door be broken. Yeah, two engines and the f airlock. Yeah, that is uh, three very unlucky ones. Yeah, enough to be suspicious. And there goes the jank force again, just shoving things off that should not be pushing against each other. Okay. What, what's with the 90s horror music? Yeah, what's the most good say? What the heck just happened? Okay, I must be near AI cores for that to start. That okay. or something else. Like the helmet. Maybe, yeah. Uh, or also... something worse. Yep. I I think it is playing when we get near the cores. Okay, I should have checked that panel for any AI cores on it. That the what? one that we launched in already. What the heck is that? What? Uh, I think I saw something in front of you earlier. Okay, I didn't see it then. And yeah, I forgot. There's always hmm? something I forget, huh? What did you yes. forget? Oh. There, do not disturb. Yeah, there's something in front of you there. Something's crawling over there. Okay. 
Let's see. Okay. No AI cores on this. So, off you go. Hmm. Now, I probably should just take a moment to go hunt for the pack for the cores that are on the outside. There's a bunch on the inner walls over there. And is that some or is that just... Yep, that's a few on the wall. Yeah, yeah, since destroying each of them is worth 105k, it is worth it to hunt them down. Plus, Lynx will complain about them if we don't get rid of them. Okay. Let's see. Any others within easy sight? Hmm. I should probably get the fixing the scanner here. Oop, here's a few. And yeah, there's there's at least there's three on fuel tanks, really? That could explain the issue we've been having there. Hmm. Oop, one more here. Okay, it looks like most of the rest are inside. I think it might be better to blow up that fuel tank that the few are stuck to. Okay, has that wrestled anything loose? No. Okay, then we continue on. Okay. Hmm. Nope. Oh, they're randomly activating things. Okay, let's head back for a bit before we run out of fuel. Here we go. Just Superman our way over for a bit. Yeah, like... Each of those panels... Uh, each of those AI nodes are about as much worth as one of the big panels. Uh, fuel, good on tethers. Oh, that came loose. In a way, it, it is good. I recommend us to take a big goose chip then, since... Yeah, they're worth a lot. And we'll be hitting the next level from this thing. Okay. Oop, radiation filter. Let's pull these loose. Okay. And send all of that off. Is that strong enough to pull it? Yes, it is. Okay, just took a bit. All right. I That's keep expecting enough. something to co uh, uh, just jump out. <laughs> well, some of the panels jumped loose from the rest, so that counts, I guess. Uh, let's see, where's those lights? Yep, one of them's getting dragged away along. Uh, where's the other one? There were two. Oop. There you are, <laughs> trying to hide underneath the cockpit. And yeah, the AI are screwing around with the atmosphere inside. Yeah, the airlock is pressurized now. But there is a lot a lot of other places, as you can see by the, the white that's been crossed out. They're exposed to the outside, so they can't be pressurized or depressurized. Well, they're already permanently depressurized. Okay. Let's deal with another one of you. And get rid of one... Of, or at least one 
of the radiation filters. I'm not sure if I saw, saw any others. But just being rid of one is going to be quite useful. Uh, I meant to aim a bit lower. There. Okay. Just need to destroy the seal. And then carefully pull this thing out. And just let it gently sail into the barge. Let's make sure that it actually arrives. There. I don't want to deal with radiation clouds. That can continue on. Okay, that's the true quarters there that they just depressurized. Which we can actually go take care of. Uh, we can take advantage of if we pop something that is connected to it. Just need to cut a small hole somewhere. Yeah. Here. There we go. That's now exposed and now they can't screw around with that. And whilst we're here... Okay. Two, three, four. Drink. Okay. Now, yeah, all of this is piping that leads over to here, to the reactor, which is reasonably exposed already. Come on, keep going. Hmm. If it weren't for this pipe here, it'd be an easy pull. Hmm. That's the airlock opening. We can actually pull the same trick here. There we go. Now they can't screw around with that anymore. I think the only thing they have left to play with then is going to be... The doors. Yeah, destroyed some aluminium, about, but oh well. Uh, coolant and all that. We'll have to see about that. These are going to be a risk, no matter what, as long as we can't activate these. But we can at least get the coolant to well. <laughs> strength to give the reactor a smoother uh, meltdown that way. Wait, I was, uh, was it the, some of the AI nodes attached to the damn things? Yeah, they're here, but they're not directly attached to it. Uh, the, the, the coolant, not the reactor. Yeah, there's there's a few connected to a, f a few fuel tanks. Oh right, fuel, it was the fuel tanks. Yeah, it's still concerning. Oh. Okay, so maybe the fuel is all. Wait. Okay, maybe I just got things wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the reactor at base, just at the start, is only supposed to have one row of five. There is still coolant coming in. Maybe the fuel lines have been emptied after all? Now I can hear something. Hmm. Wait. Or is that supposed to... Hmm. Are the androids messing with your glove? Uh, they're AI, not androids. But maybe they're, maybe there's more ambient noise being channel through or something. I don't Wait, think I got a... Um, uh, AI. A Android yeah. is when it has a physical body and such. Yeah, but that, that, that's why I was... Did I say Android? Yep. Well, that's a derp. I meant AI. <laughs> okay. 
I thought okay. almost missed that one. There is something funny about just chucking things instead of having to shove them. And let's see, if we pull off the top, then it should be a pretty easy extraction. Okay, and we haven't even gotten into the actual internal of, of the uh, ship yet. Okay. Let's continue to cut this thing down. Let's open that up. Or not. I guess they're locking us out as well with this. Oh, we already have two cuts into the walls, so we might as well use those to get inside. But first, let's just continue with this. Be a bit careful since we're working towards the fuel in this direction. Okay. Yeah, there's two more fuses to pull out before we can completely kill off the electronics. Okay, one, two, three, go. Drink. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we can remove the power plant. No, not the power plant, the power generator, if we want to. Let me first look around for any more structure points. Yeah, there's just one here. And the one's keeping the airlock connected. I'll leave that one. These, these things are pretty light to move around. There... There. Yep. And then the last three. Okay. There. Send that off. Okay. And send that off. Ooh, that's pulling along some other bits. Okay. There. No, not that high. No, wait. No nodes. I need to keep extra check on that. <laughs> Okay, now these ones. Okay, just need to get close there. Yep. One more. I do get a question a bit from, of how these nodes get here. Or rather more how they're implanted. Because it's obvious that the, the AI have some ships with which they're boarding other ships. Or unless that log we found was somehow unrelated to the AI or something. Which I find doubtful. But they must have some sort of... Uh, yeah, they must have some sort of physical uh, forms that are a lot more mobile and such. Well, it is a cult, so mm. I I think it's I think it's a cyber. It, I think it's an AI only cult. And how are we going to get you off? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, yes, they're cutting points underneath. Should have thought of that first. Okay. Okay. Nope. That off. 
Yeah. I burped in the controls for a bit. Okay, now get me out of here. You in there. And you come off. Okay. There. Okay. Now then. Now we have an easy access here now as well. Again, some aluminium destroyed, but it's not really too worth it. There. Okay, as long as that doesn't hook into something, it should be okay. There, those are probably going to get in each other's way, but oh well. They should have enough force to keep going. There, okay. Quick little grab. Okay, now let's check the insides. After getting rid of this. Yep, yeah, yeah, of course. Unavailable. Okay. Yeah, the AI going to be yeah, childish and lock us out. Good thing then that we already have ourselves an extra <clears throat> entrance over here. Yes, yes, shut up. That was only just, that was less of a that yeah, that panel costs less than a bag of chips, so uh, that's not going to bother me much. Okay, can this be operated? Yes. Okay. Very mature. <laughs> okay, then. Oh. How does it feel, Hill? Oh, oh, that's a bit of a nasty spot. It's hidden right underneath the pipe. Okay, just need to find a place where I can safely cut in. Like here. Okay, let's have ourselves a look around for anything of value. Okay. Ooh, water. Nothing hidden low. This time. Other access panel and the ECU. Okay. Yoink. And a yoink. Now, I'm guessing they'll be playful with that one as well, also. There. Probably could have pulled that one out as well to get in, but oh well. Now. Are you going to play nice with this one? No. Oh uh, well, we lose these doors constantly, so let's just cut in. It already came loose from that. Oh, well. <laughs> it's literally just a thousand credits, which again is about as much as a bag of chips in this universe. So, no big loss. How do you know that? Because we threw one of those in at one point, and we got only like 900 credits. The last time I asked about that, you said you were not able to throw in chips into the bar. <laughs> Yeah, it it was a food bag of some kind at least. Now, what do we get for this? If anything, nothing. <laughs> okay. Now, is there anything else that we can do at the moment? <laughs> I 
Hmm. I'm a bit surprised that there isn't a helmet this time. I'm expecting to find bodies that they mentioned there might be bodies in here. I don't think they'll actually have those appeared in the game, because that would probably up the age rating a bit. Okay, for now, let's go AI hunting. Hmm. I want to be real careful near with these two, especially since we still don't really know if the fuel has been emptied or not. Okay. Okay. Pull you loose, you loose, you out of the way. Come on, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm guessing most of the fuel is out since it has two bars. So, yeah, we can do a f we can do a quick one where we pull out the last of the coolant and then get rid of it. Pull out the entire lower oh, spine in one go. I thought you tried to throw the entire ship in. <laughs> no. Let's see. Is there anything on the other side here that makes it worth that those cut points there? <laughs> Unofficial cut points. I don't know. Uh, really. Did we long ago talk about what would ha might happen if you just throw the entire ship into the furnace or processor? <laughs> Uh, it would probably accept a bunch of the stuff that is loose, but most would probably get rejected. And yeah, it said it's full. The fuel must be out. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that l l it wouldn't be that long of a timer. Okay. Yeah, then I'm gonna guess the AI nodes were messing with the gloves. Maybe. We'll find out the moment that we cut the pipe. Okay, for now though, we're going to cut something else. There. Okay, almost at the next certification level. But now we can pull this one out. There, and there, and, well, that's most of the hazards dealt with. Only the fuel remains. Okay. Get rid of some more paneling. Triple check for extra AI cores. It seems that there's only one left that isn't on a fuel. Yep. I, I think we'll just have to destroy those fuel tanks because there's no way that we can get those <clears throat> AI nodes without blowing up the fuel as well. There. Now, whilst we're here... Actually, this, this one... Yeah, this is probably here for easier removal of the ECU. So we might as well try and make use of it. A little bit easier... No, it, it might fit through that hole, but I'm not going to risk it. And there. Come on. And the go. And go, and go. Might as well keep this somewhat clean. Okay, game got deselected for a second there. Oh, oh love of... I thought it was about to crash! 
straight in. Okay. And the last bit. Just so we don't have anything flying around as we try to get the ECU out. Alright, it's going back. You made a boomerang. <laughs> it may have been somewhat shaped like one, but I very much doubt it would act like one. Yeah, the solar coast fucking impales you. There we go. Just wrestle it out, and off you go. Okay, I pressed a bit too early there. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what's gonna happen with uh, coolant. It can freeze a bunch of stuff. Can we still pick it up? We can still pick it up. Can we do that without getting frozen? We actually can. <laughs> okay. And that doesn't seem to have actually damaged much of anything. Wait, hold on. What's that? I know what the red box is, I know what the yellow is. But mm -hmm. what's the other color up there? Uh, up where? Uh, on the meter. Meter? Uh, yeah, you mean at the, 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 at the top with the uh, goals and such? Yeah. Yeah, we have yellow to, with it, to show what we've done before in the dark yellow, what we're doing now in the lighter yellow. And the red is the tiny little bit that we've destroyed so far. Yeah, the red one I knew. I know it was yellow, but I don't remember there was a third color. And it's just a different shade of you know, yellow, because you're not expect with the timer. You're not expected to get uh, that much done each day. Okay. I'm just going to. Pull everything loose, try and shove it all out the wall, and then throw it down. All right. uh, yeah, these these fabrics, I think we've seen them before. Uh, you do need to be a bit careful with them because they are very flammable. Just need you out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'll just pluck everything out, then try to body shove it towards the front. Because these are a lot of little things. I'm not going to go back and forth for every little one. I just had an insane idea. Oh? Imagine you do all this. But put them into a room that you decompress, so it shoots all the barge items into the barge. That is actually an idea that some of the some of the players of this game have uh, put forward. Actually, I believe I, be <laughs> I believe that actually was one of the in-game characters suggests as well, and it's not hell for once, I think. You mean HAL, right? Yeah. I did say HAL, I think. You said HELL. Yep. Yeah, well, working for HAL is HELL. Yeah, but that I mean, he actually said H-E-L-L. -E -L. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this time I was pretty sure I did not mishear you. <laughs> If the game is going to provide such an easy exit here, we might as well use that as well. Yep. Don't. Never mind. Why is there a... Why is there a, a removable seal that leads into the crew quarters? And actually, the, the fact that there's no, no accommodations in the crew... Uh, in the uh, crew quarters suggests to me that the AI have uh, repurposed this ship as a sort of scout or something. Because, well, they've gotten rid of the bodies and the uh, inhabitants. OK. 
Okay. And then one more. Okay. Now just toss you in the furnace. There. Okay, and now we have two points to start emptying this thing from. So. We do this again. It, no, no. There. Actually, I should look in the options here for a second. Let's see. Controls, button mapping. Now, there should be a way to, to like, get the well, interaction button. Let's see. Ascend. That's movement. Grapple. Cutter. Miscellaneous. Interact. Let's move that to uh, this one. Button 5. That way we should just we should still be able to shove things without accidentally trying to well tear them apart. There. Hold on. Wait, did it? Did it not save it? Let me check. Op options. Controls. Miscellaneous. Okay, what? Uh, left grab. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's put you back on F. Grapple. Uh, ta -ta -ta, push. Oh, or push or middle mouse. Okay, let me try middle mouse then. If the game is going to be a bit obtuse about the controls otherwise. Yep, that also works. Yep. Bring over some a pillow and a blanket. Or, it's time okay. for the key to become a lot of comfy. What were you to say? Okay, for some reason these are also doubled up or something. Let's see, miscellate. Okay, why is that there? Set that to none. There we go. Okay. There, okay. Now we can do this without needing to maneuver these things around more. Okay. okay. There. Okay, let's just keep emptying this thing out. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Hello, blanket, comfort recliner. <laughs> I think I actually can't sleep in this damn recliner. <laughs> there. And there. Okay, that's just furnace stuff. This we can just pull up in one big thing. There. Okay. Oop. Our pack. Or battery pack. Let's see. All of these. Is that? Nope, that's going to bounce off. Uh, <laughs> it, it, yeah, come on. There we go. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure it just hit the absolute up lowest part of the <laughs> of the work area, so that it didn't escape into the atmosphere or well. Actually, the, uh, the planet is the other way, or oh, is that way? So that that <laughs> that would have been a data bank that would have been just flying through space for the rest of eternity, until it would eventually hit something. Are we trust what he is at the moment? Since I cannot see at the moment. Clean my glasses again. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. It looks quite different when I'm not wearing my glasses on. How does it describe this? Slenderman's son who wants to be a pirate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I cannot see. The only thing on your face I can see at the moment is the red hair and the eye patch. Hmm. And the eye patch is almost melding with your hair. Let's change that to that. 
and grapple. Set that to zero. That's going to be a lot easier when they're just two completely different button presses and not matching in any way. Okay, lights. Okay. A few more. And then we can work on the other side. Okay. And yeah, then we'll have to risk the fires, the, the fuel system. Hello. Okay, that one looked like a drawer for a bit. Some pipe for the processor. 42k? Okay. I still have no idea where there's just unconnected pipes sometimes on the inside, but oh well, it, it's a few 10k for us. Come Could on. Could be a spare pipe. I find it a bit doubtful, and I, yeah, I accidentally moved the ship by bungling around with that pipe. Okay. Whilst we're outside. Okay. May as well pull these off. There. And there. Okay. Now, the fuel system. Let's see. Those two have AI cores on them. Okay. This tank is empty. And there. Okay. This one. Actually, if these are only like... Yep, 20. No, but. 28k, then it is definitely worth more to blow up the fuel tanks with AI cores on them. Yeah, that's, the, that's the ECU. That just has a bit of extra pipe on it that they'll just have to remove themselves since we can't. That's another salvage goal. Let's try and get these out. Because I want everything of value gone before we even touch those two. Hmm. Is there any... But there's one connector still here. Okay. We might as well get rid of those. Okay. Not too much force behind you. And down. There. Okay, we could work on tearing this shell apart here. Let's see how much luck I'll have with that. And there. It is going to brush against some things. But yeah, going to crack open like that. Okay. Now, you two. Down. And down. Okay. Now, before these get away... Just... Actually, what happens if I just shove you against the back wall? Don't! Oop. Okay, I, I was kind of hoping that they would just explode on their own, but oh well. Okay. Let me actually double check. 
Yeah, the AI cores are just worth a lot more, so bye-bye. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, those should have exploded, but yeah. <laughs> Were they really? They looked almost the same value. No, it was <laughs> there was an extra zero with the AI cores because we get 105k for each, and the fuel tanks were 25k or 28k each. So yeah, only like a loss of 10 percent. Oh, all right, let me spread them. Okay. Now, the rest of the materials inside, and this last bit. And then the rest can all go into, well, the, the furnace. There. Actually, and there. Okay. Time for the spider breaker routine again. One light loss, but oh well. We can actually lose quite a bit of a ship yeah. as long as we reach the uh, the last salvage goal. Right. I need to plug in the resourcing cable to my headphones. Okay. No. All of this. Here we go. No, you don't. Okay. I'm ready to take off my headphones. Let's shove all of this over. Oh, some of it is already <laughs> leaving up its own accord. There. Come on. There you go. There we go. Back on. Welcome back. Thank you. Hello. In you go. Okay, just a little bit more. We might even be able to leave a good amount of the frame of, of the skeleton alone. Are you wait? Wood pot? There would the skeleton be thrown into In the furnace. It's, we have just a little bit to the next mark. Okay. There. Okay. Now we just need to cut it loose from the reactor parts. Okay. There. That's probably going to be enough for the next one. But yeah, I... I, I believe this one is the most. This thing is the most dangerous because of this exactly, because it'll bounce off of certain uh, surfaces and such. Oh, that's indeed a concern. And if that hits something explosive, well, also I don't think I forgot about you. That should be the last one. Okay, and now the music returns because all the AIs have been removed. Tether supplies are low. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's nice. <laughs> okay, that's all going in. Hopefully. Okay. And okay, we did not get the uh, the next mark from the fuels from the yeah, from the coolant pipes alone. But that combined with the fuel pipes should be enough, I think. And yeah, the last one we can just get from all of the stuff inside. Okay. This has to be moving again. <laughs> it's because there's a bunch of things floating around in here. Okay. There. There we go. Might as well grab this bit of pipe. And yeah, we'll have an we'll have about an hour left for whatever ship we grab next. Nice. In you go. Actually, I, could, Land I probably oh, could start cutting this thing into smaller chunks to make it easier to get into the furnace. Hmm. I honestly could try that at some point. There we Wait, go. Wait, what? Throwing the entire ship into the furnace? No. Cutting open, uh, cutting off parts of the ship that have already been emptied and such. That could work, I guess. These we can just chuck out here. Would make it easier to move around as well. There. Okay. Uh, there's one he missed. Find you. Uh, the, the tables go into the furnace as well. No, no, not the tables. There was another. There it is. The box thing. Uh, there we go. That one, yes. Oh, the terminal. Okay. You. There. Actually, why should I pull that out? I can just leave it in there. It should get pulled along anyways. Yoink. And there. Okay. And only... Yep, only the cockpit still has materials in it. So... Actually, you can be removed as well, still. Um... I'll read what you said in a second, Pizza. First, let me try and get this thing out. I can get it out. Oh, let's see. From the card of Pizza. Oh, by the way, I am either not going to be talking much or having too much streams for a bit as the cataract have had... The cataract have made my eyes so weak to the point that even the blue rays from screens and stuff hurts my eyes if I am mm. looking for too long. Okay. Yeah, okay, understandable, Pizza. Yeah. It... <clears throat> you might want to look into getting some blue, uh, some blue light filter glasses if possible. Yeah, that too. And there are computers like my, uh, both my monitors that reduce that light. So, yeah, you can... Yeah, if possible, get uh, those kind of glasses and a monitor, computer monitor that also has that reduce the blue light effect. Okay. Can we pull you off of there? Yep, it is moving. Pizza. Yeah, I have those kinds of glasses today or tomorrow. Okay. 
All right, that's good. Is it actually pulling the entire thing, or just it's just a panel? Okay, so that should come loose. Yep, it is loose. Remove that one, and then we send the entire thing into the processor. Speed it up a bit. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> okay. Now, just the last bits. And then this is once again one ship done. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I think we'll hit the marker once that big chunk goes in, but every bit that we grab here is extra money. There. Yes, yes, we get it. You don't have to say it for every single bit. Some glass and some light lost. Hmm. Okay, apparently that was not enough to hit the mark, so we'll just have to keep blocking these out. Maybe we'll hit it just with the items, but we'll probably need at least a part of this thing into the furnace. Okay, that's an outer light, from the looks of it. Okay. Yep. Or... Uh... Oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> okay, for a moment I thought it was inside of the wall. Okay. And that is... Practically everything inside this thing. Okay, one more box here. Not yet with the explosives. Okay. You. You're coming with. Okay. And now the high explosives come out. Okay, first. There. Uh oh. Let's see. Is that all still. Con yes, that is all still connected here. Okay, now it should be loose. Yep, also out of tethers. <laughs> okay. Just head back for some fuel and tethers. Yep, come on. Yep. There. Cluster, tethers, and out. Okay, now let's have ourselves a look. Is it actually loose now? It should be. Okay. If not, then we'll just need to use more. Let's see. Ah, nice. You are still holding it together. But not anymore. Okay. In you go. Okay. One there. One there. There. One there. And one there. And that should be enough to cut through the entire thing. 
Need to be careful of where I am before I back into the furnace. Again? Yeah, that was the processor. And I didn't you... back up into it. Il... I'm pretty sure you have gone into the furnace at one point as well. There. In the earlier Wait. episodes. Yeah. <laughs> I put I put explosives on the wrong one. You destroyed a thermal plate and a table. Oh well. <laughs> got a, a bit too <laughs> got a bit too trigger happy with the explosives. Oh well. And a Still banana. A good thing. I don't think the Lynx would care about the banana. But banana! It, 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 that was not... <laughs> what okay. just happened? We chucked an explosive. That might have ended up in the uh, barge. Oh, no, it's over your head. Uh, can I even see that thing? Oh, oh, well, there was we'll... anything you took there. We'll see where it is. Yep, it ended up in the barge. So it was the thing you threw into the barge? Yeah, it bounced into the barge. Processor deposit mm -hmm. awarded. Final salvage goal. And that's the salvage goal. Yeah, that's really, why does it not cut through these sometimes? Okay, what's the point of having precision explosives to cut these things into parts with when they, well, don't cut them into good parts? Yeah, it kind of makes it feel like you. Why are you bother using them when the. You clearly still need to use this thing. Mm. Maybe we're, we're supposed to put cutter? them close to the point, to the corners or something. Oh boy. Mm. Okay. Maybe I'm grab some water. This means I'm gonna temporarily take off my headphones since I cannot bring them with me at the moment. Okay. And that should be near all. Some flying debris here and there. Let's see. Oop, but the... Oh, whip. <laughs> okay. There. There. Now, that should be nearly everything. Heck, lock onto there, yes. Yep. And, yeah, that should be about everything in just a bit over an hour. Okay, keep our speed out of the red. And then we just wait for this to finish. There's a few unwanted bits in the barge, but oh well. <laughs> now we can just watch the rest of it disappear into the furnace. Okay, it is still moving, if slowly. A bit too slowly for my taste. <laughs> okay, that's why. Now, one of the tethers broke before it could pull this part in. So let's just send it in the expressway. Ah, thank you for the money. I've not seen that movie. <laughs> what movie? Uh. <laughs> Oh, what was it called? Uh, the Christmas Express or something? Polar uh, Express? The, the, the Polar Express, yes, the one that goes to the North Pole to Santa. 
I I've, never, I've seen it. bits of it, but never the full thing. What I know most about mm. it is that most everyone thinks that the CGI yeah, humans in that look absolutely terrifying. Yeah. How, brother, how old is this movie now? Very. Yeah, I think... Level increased. Mm. I'm trying to remember if I saw it first time on my older TV or not, I ate the trailer for it. You know, uh, not flat screen, and it probably looked fine there, but was it have a flat screen TV or better? Then it was probably very obvious. Probably. Okay, what's the news? Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Links would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Okay, Gecko Salvage Runners are now available. Purpose built for mobile salvaging with twin cargo bays and exterior manipulator arms for handling of large scale materials. Take caution as the cargo bays may still contain salvage that is unstable or hazardous. While we are replacing our legal team with an outside firm, I will personally handle the whistleblower report that salvage runners have an engineering flaw which can cause a catastrophic reactor meltdown. Of course. Hello, emergency issue? Yep. Really? <laughs> Don't? Uh, what's with the music? Okay, typically we don't have classical. Let's see what's this Are about. Sure? Are you sure? At least I don't remember the classical music being played in the hamp. Uh, let's see. Unverified emergency issue. Members and colleagues, unionization efforts within links are becoming increasingly dangerous. We are seeing action taken against organizers and unsure how long these updates will continue. Lynx has made it clear that they do not care about their workers nor about collaborating with us to improve conditions and that they will uh, take and yeah, that they will take drastic measures to prevent change. Amid these escalating abuses of power, we have reached out to contacts in the Stellar Commission, asking them to step in and mediate uh, discussions between Salvage Workers Unite and the Lynx, uh, Lynx Corporation. We will continue to update you on all uh, you all on the situation so long as we are able. Hope is action, solidarity is strength. Okay, so the whistle has been blown. Okay. And yeah, we still need to find a distributor. Oh dear. Yeah, we will find them in the damn geckos, don't we? Yeah, in the passenger geckos, I think. Or at least that's where we're most likely to find them. Okay, let's put some repairs in. Let's see, any upgrades that we want to get? Range, not really of interest. Heat capacity, maybe. Uh, durability drain is always good. Grapple, durability drain. Let's see. Strength. Tether lifetime, force push. Hmm. Thrusters, durability drain. Okay. Spectrum, durability drain. Let's upgrade the range a little bit. Okay. Demo charges. Also, durability drain because we don't want these to fail. Uh, yeah. Sounds like a bad idea. Let's get more of these things. Auto deploy adds an impact based deploy mechanism to demo charges. Okay. So now we can just chuck the fuckers. Oh dear. Let's see. Speed oh, and yeah, brake. But, but I meant by the battery it was. Is it better to let them deteriorate? Yeah. Then, I mean, they said this before. 
never approach a undetonated bomb that is very, very old. Yeah, because they can still go off. Like, the chance might be in the single percentages, but it is still a chance. Let's see. Saucy Ep... <laughs> Ipetus? Or whatever. Um... Let's see, shall we just go for the most valuable ship again, or shall we go after uh, shall we go after ships that have actual parts that we need for, well, our own ship? I see the ones that have the parts that we need. Okay, there's one in here with the heavy industrial, and it's also 33 million. Is there any one that is smaller? Nope. Okay, well, time for a heavy cargo then. Is Lynx a pun? No. Okay. I forgot to check how much. Oh. just trying to get people killed, huh? Because it's very obvious that Kato has not been trained properly for whatever class of ship he's been you know, sent to deal with. Like, they might have even sent him to deal with ghost ships, where he has active <laughs> opposition during the salvaging. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Standard stuff. We grab whatever we can from the insides. And also the way Hal spoke... ...sounded weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wants to fire Kato. At the absolute least. And since we don't yeah. yet know what that quote-unquote means for someone who technically isn't human anymore... Yeah, and also the way he spoke, it sounded like he, talk, he was talking from a script. Yeah, he likely is with everything he says. Hmm. And today, people, yes, we know they are voice actors for all reading scripts, but... Yeah, they, even they know how to read it like they are not reading from a script. That. Okay. Yep. The other two are right there. So is the <laughs> generator and the filter. Okay. There we go. Nope. Okay. We can actually hear the, the place power down. Okay. Now, let's slip in here. And let's see. Fuel is still in there. Because we can see these light up. Okay. Oop. Oop, credit drive. 
<laughs> okay, that's just playing credit straight to our bank. Or, well, towards our debt. <laughs> the debt, the... Okay, and that's all of the fuel removed. And yeah, that's a lot more audible now that we actually did that whilst in atmosphere, huh? Yeah. Let's take a peek. Yep, two bars. Okay, now to start decompressing this thing. And of course, the big one is broken. Which means that, let's see, we'll have to start pulling some of these out. Uh oh. Okay. There. This can still be sent to the barge, even though it is technically broken. I guess they can just fix it. Okay. <laughs> okay, what? here we go. It. Yeah, I heard it. Right, yeah, I just mm -hmm. meant you've been missing my burps. That's what I meant. There we go. Nothing broken. Something just teleported to you. Oh, <laughs> asteroid. Oh, okay, if that had hit us, it probably would have done quite some damage. But now we can empty this thing out. Uh, the airlocks are still... F yeah, well, airlocks. But those will just depressurize themselves. So, there. Airlock. I know it is, but when you think about it, it does sound a bit really funny. A lot made out of air. It has more luck about keeping air in. But yeah, point oh, stands. No. Oh, okay. I know. Yes, a funny way, way to you for the uh, guess what this might be, maybe. <laughs> there. Okay. Send you off. Mm. Okay, it is loose. For a moment, I thought it was still stuck. Okay, you head off as well. Okay. What's... Okay, this thing has a bit of a different back here. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyways. Let's get back to just pulling everything off. There. And there. Okay. Wait, what? Hmm? You threw that entire thing to the boat? It's up. It's an armor plate. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. It's one sensor tower. Yeah, it won't pop loose quite fast. Yeah. What the hell? I'm Johnny so early. Because this is a relaxing game. Okay. Oh god, you mean the music is making me sleepy? Maybe. Let's see. Okay. Standard practice, we're just going to cut all of these off. Maybe it was a bad way to bring with a blanket and pillow. Just a bit too comfy to the music. <laughs> that probably also didn't help, yeah. Front to back, and then back to cut all of these loose. Oop, that one's already going. I mean, I actually had a dream once where I actually... I had a sleep during stream. 
<laughs> okay. I don't remember what play game I was played those. I don't think I only know that I walked up a uh, halfway through the stream due to uh I think <laughs> you or Ying me <laughs> By Oying I mean Oi <laughs> Okay. That should be most of the underside loose. Oi. Actually, when you just sh sh shout, Oi! What is it actually called if I type this called Oi? <laughs> Not sure, actually. Is Oi even a word? <laughs> Probably to some people, but not the most. I was gonna pray it's not accidentally a swear word. <laughs> yeah, I got toss the side, they like it. Okay, they're all loose already. Salvage okay. Credit applied. There. Actually, no, I will not toss the blanket. I take off my headphones temporarily. Okay, and then here. It's an easy thing that we can't cut the the big crates themselves. Which makes it, well, rather easy to cut them loose. There, and there, and there. Mm, careful. Now there's of some value. There. Secured. Going back. Welcome back. Did he talk smack about me? Maybe. There. <laughs> yes, I hit you with the dock. You go there. Actually, it was it? actually been pondering about the kind of sound effects we should add to the soundboard. Got any ideas then? Well, first one. Snore. <laughs> Second one. Growl. Got no cannon barrage. That was actually the third one, cannon barrage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No. Uh, I think it was a four, but I forgot what it was. There. Uh, let's see. Let's pull you out quickly. There. That's still going. Okay. No, let's continue on. We still have half an hour, so we should be able to get most of this one done. Let's see if we can actually get the uh, the reactor in that time. There. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Okay. There. Okay, what do we need to get out of the way to get easy access to the reactor? Let's see. Pipes are actually not going to be much in the way. Hmm. Are you sure? The spine is going to be. Uh, that can be solved easily enough by removing the last few points. There we go. There. And now we should be able to pull this thing down, yep, in its entirety. Processing valuable 
Okay. There and there. Okay. You there. Yeah, having <laughs> having many tethers makes light work, huh? Oh yeah. You steal some connecting bits. Uh oh. Uh, by the way, have you found the thing we are looking for yet? Uh, what thing? For what? For the ship. Ooh. That we are making ourselves. Uh, that's in the garbage disposal part. Drink. So that should be somewhere up top here. Hmm. Where is that going to be? Or is it not on this ship? I'm pretty sure that it said that there was likely to be one here. It gets you loose. There. Hmm. Okay. Still a good few points that need to be cut. Yep. So let's hunt those down. And then we can get to work on the reactor. Okay. Might as well leave the upper spine in place or in one piece as well. Let's see. Looks like just the re the airlocks. And let's leave those be since we can now focus on the reactor. We could focus on it already, but most of the big parts are over gone now. Okay. Now, let's see. Make it easier to remove. Let's get rid of this circle. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, so there is still one pipe in the way. One that I'm not going to touch. <laughs> Hello, just <laughs> wires hidden by the reactor. Hmm. I could probably try to cut the fuel pipe since it's empty now. But I'm worried about this bouncing around. So... There. We just shove the entirety of the engine area back. Okay. And we break that. And that. And that comes loose in one, well, sort of chunk. Okay. Yep. Okay. And now that that obstacle is out of the way, we can peel this thing. Here we go. Okay, that's all of the panels gone. Nope. One more. Another. Okay. Okay, now. Let's go over here. Pull the last of the coolant out. There we go. Nope. And we honestly don't need to rush that much. We do need to keep haste. But... 
It's not like we have only seconds to go. It's more like a minute, uh, more than that. Hmm. There we go. A, a bit late with the danger mo noise. Hmm. Wait, I, I thought we couldn't cut this before. Maybe you got right. enough updates to do it? Now, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't pick any of the cut strength upgrades. Or maybe oh. it's just weaker material this time. Or actually, no, it's it's oh, it's made of titanium this time. Isn't that mostly? Ah, uh, forget it. It's there. Huh? There. Okay. Hmm. I've actually didn't. <laughs> that actually wasn't too much of the uh, progress bar. Still a good chunk, but not as much as it would be on smaller ships, of course. There. Okay. Get you going. I should probably also get rid of these over here. You. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Okay. Let's pop this panel off. Let it get carried away. You. There. You sit down. Pull you forwards to free the to free the cockpits. Okay. Applying credit to account. I'm probably being too gentle with these, but I just do not want to have to deal with a cloud of radiation. Okay. Now, you... You can probably finagle out a bit. There. Nope, you're not going into the atmosphere. They will back I had to Ugh, blow my nose. Okay, there. Break that tether. Send all of that going. And let's see. And there. Why? Am I seriously sleeping from the music? <laughs> Maybe. Oop. Need to free this one still. it into itself somehow. Oh, good gods! You want okay. to make it flip around? Uh, let's see. Uh, I really don't want to have to deal with smaller chunks of furnace stuff that's connected to processor stuff. So off you go. There's, yeah, there's nothing attached to that. No, nope, that's attached to that, but it's going into the same place anyways. Okay, you, that way. Okay. Some glass lost, but it's just small stuff compared to the panels that they're attached to. There. There. It, it's still connected to that. There. And there. Okay. 
Now you are going into the barge. Okay, and you. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Stop. And there. Pluck that off. And the rest goes in there. Salvage registered. Transfer. Okay. few connectors more here. Actually, why would I even want to disconnect those? They're going through the processor as well. <laughs> Too small to even note and pick that up. And there. And there. Come on. Okay, that should be free. Why is it still noted as being connected to something? Hmm. Did it somehow get magnetized to that? Can that happen? Not sure. I I think it just it's just janked together somehow. Okay, let's see if we can free this one then. Yep. Okay, so the other one is just a fluke of jank. There. Tethers. That way. Okay. I'll go back for tethers in a bit once the fuel goes down some more. Processing object. Apply credits to account. There. Okay. You're already loose. Now slam down the cargo. Okay. For these, I kind of do need the tethers since they're so hard, it's so heavy. Then again, okay, that at least nudges them in the right direction. That actually might hit. Yeah, that actually brings them in enough. Okay. Yep. There probably is a challenge to do big ships without any tethers at all. Uh, Bonk. Sounds extreme, considering... Uh... Otherwise, how tiny pieces you will need to make them, to move them. Yeah, but there probably are some people who tried as a challenge. There. Thruster, tether. And back. Okay. Snipe that one off. I could probably make better use of all of my tethers, but the, the price stays the same, but we get a hell of a lot more of them now each time, so they are very much... it is worth it to just use them. There. Yeah. Okay. Now, can I... Yes, I can move you. There. You... That daisy chain has failed. Okay. 
Okay, that's tearing up the back. Okay, as long as nothing explodes. There. Oh, I see what's going on. It's trying to pull the entire ass out of it. Did I miss? Ew. Yes, I missed one at the absolute back. So I'm not surprised. Get going. I'm not sick, people. I just for some r r random reason I'm damn tired. Okay, let's see. Pizza, I'm just going to be relaxing and going to sleep with Stream on. So have fun chatting with Nietzsche. Uh, hope to see you soon. And remember to stay hydrated and goodbye. <laughs> see you next time, Pizza. And rest up well. Yeah. Yeah. See you next time, Pizza. We will give you some uh, lesson tunes to sleep to. Relaxing music. And Helian screaming in panic in the background. <laughs> That's not likely going to happen now that all of the big booms are out. <clears throat> are you sure about that, Captain? Uh, uh, by the way, how many toes do you have? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Enough. How many toes? There you go, a few toes less. Okay. He did not scream. Are these toes and toes? <laughs> okay, that piece is just wedged in between. <laughs> oh, come on! Alright, let's see. The third pizza? Well, random noises from stream is really the only thing that helps me fall asleep. Yeah, some people... Some people find it a lot easier to fall to sleep to just having music on or listening to... Yeah, documentaries and such. And how is that thing stuck there? Right. Let's get to just removing one of these again. There, just get the corners out. Then the edges. Let's see, still attached. Probably by this bit here. And there we go. Okay, pull it towards there. And yeah, it's just, it's just, the hoist is just glued on for some reason. And hello. You are not going towards the. F uh, where did this go? Yep. There it go. Okay, into the furnace with you. You processor. Actually, wait. Break that. That goes to the barge. Eighteen hundred twenty-one. Okay, it's more valuable to put it in there. Okay, that's just unfortunate that two different... Well, <laughs> look, two different destinations... Yeah, you know, two different destination materials got stuck together somehow. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Wait, 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 yeah, it's likely fermented all the same. Aren't we pirates? Yeah, I'm pretty sure fermented soda would not be pleasant. Okay. Yeah, old soda is not pleasant. It, it's not. Oh, radiation filter. Oh! Okay, I was dumb. I forgot to remove the filter out of it. Oh well. 
It's still only a small uh... part of the entire thing that we lose. And as long as we reach the milestones, we get most of what we, well, can get anyways. That's a really uh, thin mattress. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I'm yeah, pretty sure that doesn't really even count big. as a mattress. That's more just like... <laughs> a, that's just more like a slab of uh, cloth. Now, so, yoink. Well, mattresses can be thin, if I have it. one. But it's more like you have a thin mattress you put on top of a thick mattress. Salvage. Applying credit. Uh, let's see, where do those up there? Send those off. I still wonder if I should brush my teeth. <laughs> You're free to if you want. I'll probably call it in a few minutes. Give us five minutes before uh, time to end the stream. I might as well wait. Okay. There. I do know that if I were to brush my teeth now, I would turn a bit more away. Processing there we go. Okay. You to the barge. Actually, reminds me. Um, mm -hmm. Do you usually add the raid pods to the streams we put on YouTube? No. All right, you just remove the the raid pods then. Now I end the stream before the raid starts. It, when the when the stream goes to black, that's when I end the, the recordings. You should we still do the part of where we talk about who to raid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been, been worried for that. Well, it does feel like the, those are the areas where people will usually end up watching to they just jump out. A boink. So I don't know how much a person needs to watch the video to count as a view. Hmm. Hmm. Am I burning the correct parts? There we go. And now that's the coolant pipe loose. Oh, seems uh, pizza has someone recommend to raid. Let's see, wet tortilla. Okay, that's certainly a name. Oh yeah, yeah, we can take a look at them. Just gotta finagle this thing out. There we go. Off you go, little light, shines her bright. Oh, damn it, Hill! <laughs> what? Twinkle Little Star, <laughs> Dead Space version. Okay, can we actually get you out through this? Oh, wait, you were still stuck to the wall. Here we go. I probably should upgrade the maximum heat capacity of that thing. There. It's coming out. And down. Hmm. Let's see. Pizza. Oh, by the way, Drake here. I'm not too sure, but it's either half of the video or 75% of the video that needs to be watched for it to be counted as a view. I'm not sure, though. Okay. Uh, do you mean on yeah, Twitch or because on YouTube? I believe on, okay, on YouTube I think it's they count it after a certain percentage, but not that yeah. high, I believe. So it's it has I feel like they have been changing the percentage now and then, so I don't know what counts anymore. Yeah, though it is in there. Mm. Actually, no, with YouTube, I believe it is per advertising or something that, uh, that they're probably screwing things around in some way to screw over content creators. 
in some way with that, but oh well. For now, yeah, let's just call it that we have a little bit uh, b before we go overtime that we can do for a raid. All right. There we go. Stay under the seven uh, nine point seventy five of terminal velocity. Okay. And yeah, I'll, I'll clean the rest of that up. Uh, yeah, that's not going. To, the rest of that is not going to jump us to the next rank. Okay. Let's see if there's some story that that'll pop up here. And yeah, we we didn't actually find. Of distributor amongst anything there, I think. Unless I... It's waste disposal systems where they're supposed to be in, but there wasn't one on this ship. Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy Let's as see. the first 90%. Yeah, 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 shut up. important to always give 110%. <clears> hmm. <throat> Let's see, the largest model of Javelin, Javelin Tanker Large, from Helix Heavy Industries with a nose-to-tail length of 95 meters, the king of mobile refueling. This model can carry more fuel than the storage tank at Camp Fortune and Camp F F Fort Camp Toon combined. Really? Okay, and we are now under 1 trillion depth. In depth. Yeah, I always keep messing it up, and... Feel that that has grown. No story. Okay. Nothing here. Great. Hi, I'm Shippy. Need help with a triple pot bypass? Let me know. Okay, I guess we found one flank floating around then. Excellent. Let's install all of these then as well. A no complications. Even more here. There. Okay, this is quite a jump in progress with this thing, huh? Yeah. One iron coil. Some filters. Some fuses. A heat sink, and now we're short on wires. But terminals we keep finding everywhere, so we can just tear one of them up. Unless we just find... Actually, we probably need more wires later on. So we'll just grab whatever wires we find and tear open it one of the uh, <clears throat> one of the terminals if we can't find any. But yeah, for now, save and quit. And yeah, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me free the mouse from that. Remove the always on top. Okay, change screen share. To... Da -da -da. To the browser, Twitch, and let's have a look. Uh, okay, it's it's busy again. So uh, let's first take a look at Pizza's suggestion with Tortilla. That is how we were supposed to say it, I believe. Browser is muted, and let's see. They are playing Minecraft. Okay. Uh, on console, them. on PlayStation, it seems. I probably should look for a new Minecraft uh, mod pack again, because it has been a while since we played that, and some of the mods that we've played with have been updated, including Ars Magica, or Ars Nouveau. I still can't say that without it sounding like I'm putting an, a, an E behind the S there. And I think that's partially on, on purpose by the developers. But yeah, we'll have to see about the new mod pack with that. Since, well, it's been so long, I've kind of lost track of what we were even doing. Last I remember was building one massive-ass magic tower. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Beyond with Tortilla, we have Cider the Lich, who is playing Factor uh, fac the Satisfactory, not Factorio. Azure Arcane is playing Dredge. And let's see, a third option... Uh, I think we raided Hisai Rusia somewhat recently. Yeah, hmm. I think so. Now let's leave it between these three then. So Tortilla with uh, Minecraft, Set the List with Satisfactory, or Azra Arcane with Dredge. 
I say what to Tilia. <laughs> okay. Someone new. And yeah, we can call it the pizza delivery raid again. So copy the name, channel. Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we start it, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, pizza. And let's see, do we have any lurkers or potential bots? Uh, wait, I thought I removed this bot already. Oh, well, I'll remove it now then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very obviously a bot, zero on their dash, uh, or low dash, whatever you call that. Uh, Sophia, that is a bot, very obviously. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, then, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah, on this extra stream. Tomorrow, we will continue with Team Chaotix in... <laughs> Sonic Heroes, and we'll see if we'll have to tear our, our hair out with their special objectives. And after that, we will take a break from the Sonic games once we're done with that game to start on some <laughs> some Star Wars games. Yep, and I've been learning Star Wars lore to be prepared for it. <laughs> okay, Legends lore or the new lore? Uh, Since both. Disney took over. Okay. But yeah, in the... yeah. <clears throat> Still though, for the weekends, we have more Retribution, more Cleo A Pirate's Tale, and Showcase Sunday. Though there is one thing I might want to change. Uh, a group that I'm a part of, a roleplay group, uh, they've got their sessions going on Saturdays at the same time that we would be doing our evening stream. So I'm thinking... Uh, maybe we m stop with the Saturday evening streams for a bit to see yeah, if I can get back into with the group and such. And uh, yeah, it, it is one stream less, but even with that, we'd still be doing seven streams in a week. Yeah. It's and a yeah, with work, but... with yeah, with work, I'll have to lower the amount probably all the same. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. At least, at least you. At least the potential of uh, uh, work week midday streams will that most likely vanish, depending on what days I'll be. Uh, I might get with the new job if I get the job. Always big, big, big ifs. Like as big as this bloody platform. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, we'll have to see about all of that when it comes to it. But at the very least, potentially no Saturday evening stream this week. We'll just have to see about it because yeah, the roleplay group d tends to have uh, longer arcs. So it'd be awkward to try and get in in the middle of one. So we'll see what happens. What is going to happen now, though, is that we're going to start this raid. <clears throat> And, yeah, you were going to say something? Really? Okay. Anyways, then, thank you all again for watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for space seagulls. <laughs> and, pu again, pushy managers. That too. Uh